in today's world, I think we are in a very special moment in education. A moment of crisis in a way, but a moment of opportunity. For a long time in most educational settings, we have educated for the known, for the established knowledge, for the established skills, for the established routine, and for a long time that's been enough. But we face a very complicated world today. We face a world of globalization, of economic interaction. We face a world where people need to communicate with sophistication, need to think ahead, need to plan. We face a world where the best professional opportunities require sophistication in communication, in thinking, and in collaboration. We basically face a world where the old pattern of education does not do so well. Instead of education for the known, we need something that almost sounds like a paradox. We need educating for the unknown. It means that what today's children learn needs to prepare them with great flexibility for a world and for personal lives that may go in many different directions. The big picture, there are only two fundamental questions about education. How to teach and what to teach. Now, the first question, how to teach, gets a great deal of attention from researchers, from professors, and from teachers. It's all about methodology. And it's a tremendously important question. Absolutely. However, what gets neglected a little bit is what to teach. We teach more or less the same thing today that we did 10 years ago, or 20 years ago, or even 50 years ago, with a little bit of updating. The question we have to ask is, today, this topic, is it likely to play a significant role in the lives today's learners are likely to live? If you ask that question about a typical curriculum, here you might say yes, there you might say no. Take the way we study history. Often, we study history as a matter of looking closely at particular events. Let's say the French Revolution, the American Revolution, the Roman civilization. It's all about those episodes. Well, those specific episodes aren't going to come up again. They're past. But if the study of history is reframed so those episodes become lenses to look at the way the contemporary world works, to look at the way the world of the future works, or to look at other slices of history, then they're much more powerful. So one has, if you like, reframed the study of a particular to function much more broadly, and therefore it becomes much more meaningful in the lives learners are likely to live. There are many things that is deeper 